Man, I did forget. I had a list. I forgot it. Hold on, I might have it. Well, I do have my list. Actually. Charity and desires. This is First Corinthians 14 and 1. Following after charity and desire spiritual gifts. Spiritual gifts. So we out here teaching spiritual things. You go. But rather that ye may prophesy. Yeah, we out here prophesying. So uh, we're the real prophets of the Most High. This 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 whole chapter right here. I got many more scriptures. This is going to prove that we are the prophets of the Most High. And this this was written by from Paul. And he wrote it to the church of Corinth. So he's talking to many brothers, man. He's talking to the elect, okay? So the scriptures clearly said, if you believe in the truth and you calling on the name of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh said that you're a prophet. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Now yeah, we are the real prophets. And we only went out here prophesying and claiming we prophets. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto the most high. Yeah, that goes to them people that be in the church. Like, uh, you watch that T.D. Jakes bullshit. They be up in the church, start speaking in tongues. He's like them big fat black woman being there and start shaking like, little huma shama lava, huma halakaka. Just making up words. Yeah, that's a demon up inside of them making them do that. They started going crazy. They try to say that's the that ain't the Holy Spirit. They try to say that's the Holy Spirit. That's the spirit of the demons, the legion. Legion of demons. Yeah, so them churches are full of shit, man. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto the most high. For no man understandeth him, howbeit in the spirit he speaketh mysteries. Because really, when the Bible talks about speaking in tongues, that's talking about speaking different languages. Okay, it's talking about someone speaks something besides English. They speak Spanish or they speak Greek. You know what I'm saying? That's what that's talking about. So when you're speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues is not talking about uh, acting like a retard and making up a bunch of words and flopping around like a fish. You know what I'm saying? Keep going. Oh, you got, oh, you got something else? Uh, yeah, I was just going to try to do some reset. Oh, that's good. I get it. Um, speaketh mysteries. But he that prophesieth speaketh unto men to edification. So, yeah, so you prophesy for edification. So we that's more proof that we are the prophets. And it's our job to, prof to prophesy to edify people. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because if you're saying that you ain't a prophet, you pretty much saying that you're not even a man of God. Because the Lord is dealing with the elect, and all the elect are all prophets. The 144,000, that's all prophets. So if you claim to be a man of God, but you're not a prophet, when you say you're not a prophet, you're saying you're not a man of God. That's what you're saying. That's right. And like you said, uh, edifying. When you read yep. the scriptures, you, 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 you know, sometimes you get cut off because the speaker's edifying. You know, you gotta break these scriptures down properly. These preachers don't do that. Yeah, they'll read the whole scripture and go on to the next one. Yeah, they'll, they'll read the scripture and uh, it'll, hand it to money or something. Yeah, right. then they, they'll just kill the music. Close the book and then cut on yep, the right. Yep. Close the book. Start the concert. And go rant on. Start the concert. Start the, right, start the show. Yeah, yeah, they'll blend right from the sermon like, oh, Jesus. And then you'll hear the snare drum or the, uh, the cymbal. And then they start singing, you know what I mean? They be smooth with it. <laughs> they be on tour and shit. Right, right. It's just like going. What's like watching the Blues Brothers or something? Yeah, yeah. In close. Close. Oh, that shit they were barming. Funny barming. Oh yeah, barming yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks crazy. But he that prophesies speaking unto men to edification and exhortation. And comfort. And comfort, yeah. So you're supposed to prophesy to comfort your brothers. So if you're saying you're not a prophet, you're saying you ain't comforting nobody. It means you're the devil. Keep going. 
He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifieth himself, but he that prophesied edifieth the church. I would that ye all speak with tongues. Oh yeah, so the Bible said whoever prophesied edifies the church. Once again, you have to prophesy. Otherwise, you're not a man of the Lord. If you're not a prophet, you're not a man of the Lord. Yeah, because we the prophets, we the saints, we the apostles, we're all that. Keep going. I would that ye all spake with tongues, but rather that ye prophesy. For greater is he that prophesied than he that speaketh with tongues, except he interprets. Yeah, so we're all supposed to speak the same language. That's what that's talking about. Because you got some people... Like your room, your boy Peraza, he made a whole video on the internet speaking in uh, ancient Hebrew. And he, there ain't nobody came, you know, half the people came and understand you. You know what I mean? So he was, he was just, he was like, he was being a retard. Keep going. Let me say this too. Oh, That's ahead. how, because uh, like you were saying, them damn people in the churches talking that tongue shit. There's no interpre uh, interpreter. Oh, yeah. There's no, there's no, none. There's none. Like, they're yeah. just shaking around all the floor and shit, rolling around. So, so it's like, what is he saying? Right, right. Like, what the they, fuck they, are you they saying? They're not getting the light. Man. They can't even say what he's saying. Yeah, you're right, too. They don't have no one right there interpreting. Yeah, and, and, and the bitch, and when them women do that in church, start speaking in so called in tongues, they don't even know what the hell they're saying. Right, right. They're not saying nothing. they probably speaking. Yeah, it is the devil. There's no one else but Satan. That's Satan. That the church may receive edifying. And it's not worse than a, one of one of old ass crusty bitches up in these churches, man. That's like one of the worst things on the planet Earth. There's a woman in a church. That's an abomination. You go, yeah, a woman prophet. Well, they claim they got women prophets. That's madness. That's a complete and utter madness. I mean, cause what, this is retarded. Ain't no fucking this yes. You see, actually, you got a lot of these faggots out here. They got women preachers. They going to the woman for guidance. Hey, can you break the scripture down for me, baby? I ain't retarded. never in my life seen one woman ever on point about any motherfucker. They're retarded. Never. But the woman ain't made for knowledge and ain't made for teaching. Okay, hey, actually, keep going. Or that is a. That's right around that same book right there. What's up, bro? You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? It's worth a whole lot. Some of it just doesn't seem right. Like what? What doesn't seem right? Mostly just how old they want to say Like what? Just scientific information. What kind of information? You're talking about 65 billion years and all that. Maybe not necessarily that, but I think more than that. They want to say it's about 10,000 years old. The Earth is not you know, billions of years old. Well, no, not the Earth itself. But it's about 13,000. The Earth ain't, yeah, you, there's no way anybody can prove the Earth was billions and billions of years old. That's all madness. Just like you can't prove evolution. All they doing is just trying to push that shit out there with the Bible. Yeah, because they're a bunch of... They're away with the Bible. And the same people that make claims like that are child molesters, they're faggots, they're for faggot rights, they're for uh, uh, women's rights. So, who are you doing when nobody even thinks like that? Not first, the first time I ran a source, oh, yeah. there was one era of dots, one certain type of dinosaur. It, it's them same people. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's just big wicked. It's, it's, it's the same people, too, who was warning us about. <laughs> it's the same people that warned us about global warming. But now yeah. the, the polar ice cap got more ice than ever in recorded history. Right. You know what I mean? And the world's still overpopulated. That's all that propaganda BS. Hey, do you know who the greatest scientist of all time is? You don't know? It's Isaac Newton. You know, Isaac Newton believed in the Bible. He said the Bible was 100% true. Without Isaac Newton, he invented calculus. 
know what I'm saying? Without calculus, we'd still be, uh, we wouldn't even be in the technological age. See what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, he said he got his knowledge and visions. The Lord had given him visions. That's how he received his knowledge. That's what he said. You got more of that? Keep going on that. Yeah, oh yeah, this is what the Bible says about these folks. Uh, 2 Timothy 3 and 6. For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin. Yes, these women are silly. And that's like all these women up in these churches. They all silly women laden with sin. Because they're mostly old women who done uh, lived their whole life being a hoe. And now they old. You know what I mean? They are uh, ran through. They had menopause, you know what I mean? They can't be a hoe like they used to be, so now they want to go to church. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, it's all, all it. yeah ain't, no, ain't no one pleasure up in there. There's a lot of these motherfuckers, like me, I told them, man, this shit ain't no good. Yep, you got to. You got to tell these bitches, that fucked their spirit up, man. Yep. Then they go find Jesus. You know? And they wonder why, them, like, the last month, 50 niggas have ran about the house, no one even bothered by her ass. But she goes seek spiritual guidance through the local pastor. And the, the pastor, the, pastor. The pastor, the only one that will hit him. He only doing it. He only doing it for hustle. Yeah, for that money, he getting that money. Yep, that's, the, why, that's what we read. And preachers right be getting paid. They get everybody's money. Yep. And, and for of this sort are they which creep into houses and recap the silly women. And look at these silly ass. Sins. All these hoes are silly women laden with sin. Every just, every woman you just look at is a simple ass bitch. They nothing special about none of them. That away with diverse lust. Ever Di learn? Oh, diverse lust. These women, that's all they care about is the, like the scriptures say, all they care about is the, the, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. You know what I'm saying? Right. Ever learn? Is never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Ever. Ever. Oh, that goes back. And that's like your boy right there. He's ever learning. He's going to go on for days by evolution. And the earth is a... a quadrillion, trillion years old. You know what I mean? But he has no truth. He ain't learning shit, man. He just on that liberal bullshit. I'm trying to hear that shit, man. Yeah, them bitches be up in uh, this damn college studying the ass off. Studying the ass off. <laughs> never get the truth. Yep, don't never get no damn truth. That's what that scripture's talking about. Don't never learn nothing. That's, that's, that's all point like hell, man. That's the same scenario with Eve. Learn those ways. Never. Oh, shit, the serpent. She was just, well, the serpent promised some knowledge. So, yeah. The real true knowledge is the uh, made of most high. You got more than that? That was enough. Yeah, that was enough. Yeah, that was back to Corinthians. Okay. Uh, he interpreted that the church may be CF5. Now, brethren. Not sister, not yeah. brother. Yeah, he didn't say brother. If I come unto you speaking with tongues, what shall I profit you? Except I shall speak to you either by revelation or by knowledge know, like, or by like, prophesying really or by doctrine. Or by prophesying. So that's how you teach people. You teach people by prophesying. Well, once again, if we're the prophets of the Most High, okay? If somebody, because I hear it all the time, I hear preachers say they're not prophets. They're like, I'm not a prophet. Well, guess what? Then you need to shut the hell up. You ain't a prophet, just shut your ass up. Okay? You ain't got shit to say. Yeah. I mean, I hear people, all uh, major preachers, I hear them say that all the time. I hear it all the time, too. Not a prophet. Yeah, about like that old dude with Lindsey Williams to be on Alex Jones. He said it. I heard, uh, I think I even heard Tex Mars say it. I heard all kinds of them old motherfuckers say that shit. All them old preachers. They always say, I'm not a prophet. Well, guess what? Shut the fuck up. Okay. Shut, 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 shut it down. Keep going. And even things without life giving sound, with a flesh of heart, except they give a distinction in the sounds. How shall it be known what is like your heart? It's like you listen to us. And you go to another camp, so fake ass is like camp. It's a totally different sound. Yeah, it's totally like totally different sound. 
Yeah, it's like, yeah, you'd rather fucking listen to Lil Wayne or something to hear that shit, man. I just remember when Quasi was down there, you don't, y'all don't remember that dude came up and he was like, y'all sound different than those guys. Yeah, you know? got a different vibration, yeah, different yeah, spirit. Yeah. I still remember that too. There's two of them, the girl and the guy. The guy was like, y'all sound different than those guys down there. Them guys don't sound right now. They they was put on they weren't even in the truth. Yeah. They was put they was put on an act. Shakespeare. Everything spiritual. Cause you know who got the truth by the spirit. The spirit gonna reveal that. Yes, I always certain people can tune into that spirit, you know what I mean? The Lord ain't dealing with everybody. Okay. Like he had an upside down pentagram with inside of a coffin on the back of his shirt. You see that? <laughs> what the fuck? It was a it was a coffin with an upside down pentagram. Goddamn devil worship. They should get put to death right away on the spot. Yeah, for that shit. Get burnt. You supposed to burn devil worshippers at the stake. If somebody worships Satan, or they talking about they worship Odin or something. You might get their asses over here. You don't string them up, burn them. That's what you're supposed to do to a devil worshiper. To a Muslim, too, you're supposed to stone a Muslim to stones. We get that. That's in Deuteronomy 17. Deuteronomy 17 says to stone. Any, anybody goes against the laws of the Bible, goes against the Most High, they get stoned. Right, go ahead with that. So it seems worthy of the devil. Yeah, if you turn away from the Most High and become a devil worshiper, you definitely worth the death. Oh, oh, yeah. For if the trumpet give an uncertain sound, who shall prepare himself to the battle? So likewise ye, except ye utter by the tongue words easy to be understood, how shall it be known what is spoken? For ye shall speak into the air. There are, it may be, so many kinds of voices in the world, and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. A barbarian. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They barbarian. Yeah, these hoes is barbarians. Look at these bitches, man. <laughs> Anything anybody that'll open their legs to, you know, hundreds of thousands of niggas, man. That's a barbarian. That's a barbarian. Savage. That's a, open, yeah, savage. Yeah, savage. A bear. Continuously open your legs from one nigga to the next nigga, and they all bust nuts in. They all bust nuts in a big listen. This is inevitable. They, they're wild, this feral, is savage. savage. Yep. That is going up in there, period. Yep. Rubber or not. Yeah, rubber or not. That's going in there anyway. And then they brag about it, too. Yeah, whatever bacteria chemical was on that rubber. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you remember that bitch that came out here that sucked 5,000 cops? I seen that clip. Yeah, that's some bunk house shit. Oh, I do. I'm all up on you. Oh, my God. I see that clip. Man, that video got, like, it got a couple hundred views, too. Yeah, like, everybody's watching that movie because they sick in the fucking head. They thought they was going to see some nasty shit. Yeah, yeah. People ain't right. They're not man. watching the video for no edification. They just want to They want to see the bitch who sucked 5,000 dicks. <laughs> People, y'all are sick, man. She actually was doing a calculation, too. Three to six, five days out of the year. Oh, my God. And she was going to walk around like, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. She was honest. You know, I, I've heard women say that uh, nowadays. I fucked so many nice. niggas that I, I, you know. Lost count. Yeah. The sperm said yeah, shit. Just that fuck. That's sperm. Right. I did. Right. All them different sperm fucked their brain up. I had a woman actually oh, tell yeah, me I fucked everybody. <laughs> that shit turned their brain to mush. Yeah, it caused a chemical imbalance. Make a bitch go crazy. That's the science. Spirits all yeah. fucked up evil with the spirits up here. Right. You know? They ain't got system. They can't just lay around with this evil. Well, they be drinking horse sperm and dog sperm. Right. Hey, if you mix that with some evil sperm. Just Man. laying around. Just laying around. Nigga, have a nigga, have a nigga, have a nigga. Right, It'd be a wicked nigga, nigga too, man. Like they be ugly. They be fucking with the ugliest, creepiest child. Like, uh, Like they say, 10 it gets you in and 20 it gets you plenty. All these bitches are needed something. You just tap in what they need. Yeah. Yeah. They don't give a fuck what you look like. That's why you see 
men pimps. That's what damn women pimps. That's why these women always be uh, these heathens always take advantage of our women. Yeah, these heathens sure as hell do. They got the resources. Yeah, the them heathens sure as hell do. Whatever resource it is. They come yeah. over here with 25 stacks. Bitch will suck a, a bitch will go to the corner store and fuck, uh, suck a Arab's dick just for a Newport. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pack of squares. They sure as hell do. Or, or, yeah, come in with their food stamps. This motherfucking heathen was uh, selling <laughs> shit out of the store. For, uh, the bitch came in with the food stamp card. You can buy a shit with that food stamp card. This part too. Hey, this part of me is selling to I've seen the shit in Pittsburgh. A nuke needed to fly right over here. Now. So they about to. <laughs> now. Don't <laughs> be <laughs> nukes. Yeah, nuke is late, shit, man. The nuke is late. That motherfucker should have been there. Because all I thought of all my life, I've been struggling. I can't get ahead here, man. So this place got to go. That's, like I can't get ahead. I should been, say this ain't your rest. Ain't no rest. Ain't no getting ahead. I actually thought about it. Like, like all the jobs I had, all the schools I was going to. go work and actually fucking study and shit but I could never click with it then I thought about it like yeah this this place gotta go yeah, it's gonna be destroyed so it's, it's on you know y'all know America's gonna be destroyed by fire that's not Jose 3-2 yeah it's in Jose uh 3 and 6 4 and 6 it's a bad scripture too. It's a bad medicine. It's a bad medicine. That's an old classic. It's a bad medicine. It's a lot of country people here. They get the old family. They get comfortable. The next thing they fall asleep. They're just niggas, man. As long as they got cable TV and, you know. Cable TV. I got cable TV and the place they do. I don't need shit. They got cable TV and some food. I don't even fucking watch it. They look forward to going to work the next day. Look forward to it, man. Go to, you know, hi, boss. How you doing, boss? Kiss the boss's ass, all that. You know? Well, you see the show last night? Right, right. Watch the game? This bitch got a fucking go. Like, what game is fucking millions of them? No, it's weird. You ain't supposed to be comfortable. You might be able to get a little, get a little <laughs> nice little job though, but it's always going to be some bite. That's why I told you that shit kind of like, man, fuck a job. Like, you know, it's cool that I got it for, for the time being, but all, all as far as 100% total out of all of that shit, man, fuck that shit. This place can handle it. Oh, you got more of that? Uh, I got some more. There are, there are, it may be, so many kind of forces in, work, in the world are, 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 are and none of them is without signification. Therefore, if I know not the meaning of the voice, I shall be unto him that speaketh a barbarian. And he that speaketh shall be a barbarian unto me. Even so ye, for as much as ye are so zealous, zealous of spiritual gifts. Spirit, we have spiritual gifts. That's right, gifts. Seek that ye may excel to the edifying of the church. Yeah, I mean, you got to prophesy, like I said earlier in that scripture. Mm -hmm. Wherefore, let him that speaketh in an unknown tongue pray that he may interpret. For I pray in an unknown tongue. My spirit pray, but my understanding is unfruitful. When is it then? I will pray with the spirit, and I will pray with the understanding also. I will sing with the spirit. Hurt. First Thessalonians, uh, he said First Thessalonians 5. Yeah, that's the point on that. I, just to speak about prophesying again, that's the main point I wanted to make. Because I was, earlier today I was on YouTube and everybody was, uh, somebody saying I wasn't a prophet. Like, look, if you're teaching the Bible and you say you're not a prophet, then you're not a man of the Lord, man. The scriptures say over and over again that you got to prophesy. Yeah, 
gonna shoot some motherfuckers every second with, with right. envy and jealousy, and he's mad because they probably they ain't got no knowledge, oh. like you know, the next part. And that's all that is. Oh, that 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 because you ain't riding around with a jaguar or some of the same things. You can't be a prophet. Hey, yeah, check this script right here. Second Thessalonians 5 and 20. Despise not prophesying. <laughs> hey, hold on, read that again. Hold on. Wait till I go away. Yeah, read that again. Second Thessalonians 5 and 20. Despise not prophesying. So y'all got a problem with us, you got a problem with the Lord. He said you know you're supposed to despise prophesying. So people why, why you got a, why they got a problem when we say we're the real prophets? Why they got a problem with us? The scriptures say don't despise prophesying. Read that again. Second Thessalonians 5 and 20. Despise not prophesying. Like when we say America is going to be destroyed, that's a prophecy. Y'all shouldn't be despising that. Y'all should embrace that and just wait for it. Because the scriptures say we're supposed to teach that the kingdom of heaven's at hand. America ain't the kingdom. So if we're going to go to the kingdom of heaven, that means this world's got to pass away and be destroyed. I mean, uh, kingdom, it's, it's probably more than that. Yeah, yeah, it's more yeah. than that. It goes along with a lot of stuff we were just talking about. Yeah. Second Thessalonians 5 and 21. Prove all things, mm -hmm. hold fast that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Uh, well, we just proved that we as the prophets. Keep going. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God for whole spirit, for your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved. Blame us unto the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shah. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Great all, greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle by be read until all the holy brethren. Oh yeah, you're supposed to read this to all the holy brethren. So that's a that's a lot of people that's in the church, right? Like the elect, the 144,000, that's a lot of people, really. I mean, it's really a small number compared to the whole population of everyone. Yeah, the whole nation of Israel. That's but it, it's more proof because it said despise not prophesying. That's a tiny fraction. Yeah. Very Yeah, so that's why we out here prophesying. That's why we out here prophesying with fear and trouble. Yep. You know, I saw a so I know I fear. Uh, 1 John 2 and uh, 20. But you have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. Yeah, that's why you get, we know all things. <laughs> we can prove all things. It's a prophet. We know, yeah, we know all things. And yeah, really, when you look that scripture up in the Greek, it says uh, the, the word for know is Edo or Ido in Greek. That means to perceive. Okay? So we, we perceive all things. Which means you can, you can, uh, Use the spirit to guide you. You can break everything down. Hmm. You're aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're aware. You're awake. Because you gotta be awake to see. Yeah, these motherfuckers are in comas. Yeah, they ain't comas. They comatized. They ain't fucking la la land. <laughs> 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 I was a wonder man. Imaginary world. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah, imagination land. For real. That's where they is. This is an imagination land, for real. These people... Well, you right, you right, too. You fucking right, folks. Because once this is gone, it's, it's like, it's, it's gonna be like it never was here. Like it was never here. You know, like a bad, we be, yeah, we'd be in this. the kingdom. It's gonna be a pile of ashes. Yep. Big ass fucking dust mound. It's gonna be smoking. <laughs> That's good, too, though. So you see, it was like Obama was trying to go into, uh, to Syria to start, you know, Russia blocked their ass trying to go to Syria, so now they're like, fuck it, we just gonna go straight into Iran now. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's bad though. Cause they, it's just showing these devils that all these years they've been, couldn't wait to see their military do their wondrous work, shoot the missiles, spell missiles, yeah. and badass jets and shit. But now that they see the mother motherfucking nation got got missiles and they ready to fight too. Yeah, they yeah. like, hey, you know, it's wrong now, it's wrong now. Now the scripture says blood will pursue me. You, you, yep. hit, you have not hated blood, but blood will pursue me. Yeah, that's why the Russians is going to come after the America. Yep. 
they get you to come after them too. Man, they've been waiting to use the missiles for a long time. For a long time. The yeah. thing about them shits, man, you can't just destroy them. Hell no. You, 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 yeah, you gotta use it. You gotta do something with it. This <laughs> is dangerous. <laughs> motherfuckers like getting injected with um, radiation and all kind of shit. <laughs> they might as well just start shooting it up. And, uh, here you go, Job 18 and 10. The snare is laid for him in the ground and a trap for him in the way. Terrors shall make him afraid on every side. Terror, yeah. And shall drive him to his feet. His strength shall be hunger bitten and destruction shall be ready at his side. It's like, yeah, Russia right now, they, they looking real strong. They made America look like a bunch of weak bitches. Like nobody will be afraid of America no more. Nah, nobody gives cares no more. Nobody gives a fuck, and they see it too. They see it too. The bullies been getting shut down now. They shut the bully down. Yeah, that's what they did pretty yep. much. This shall devour the strength of his skin. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle. And it shall bring him to the kings of terrors. Yeah, that's king of terrors is the most high. That's right. Because the most high is the king of terrors. The scriptures say the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So the Lord's a man of war. Okay? He, he likes to uh he likes to the, the Lord enjoys terrorizing people. He loves terrorizing the heathen, especially <laughs> these wicked ass Israelites. That's a pleasure. The Lord takes pleasure in that, man. Yeah, he'll fuck your wicked ass up with the quickness. No, you turn you to mashed potatoes. Yeah, with no good. Yeah, yeah, turn you to slop. The Lord, he said, I have. The Lord, you reading Psalms, the second chapter. Hey, let's get that. Psalms, the second chapter. Okay, why are you getting them reading? That's all. It's beautiful, right? We ain't got that. Psalms 47 and 2. For the Lord most high is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. He's a great king over all the earth. He shall subdue the people under us and the nations under our feet. The nations are there, so the nations are going to be under our feet. That's just like what Revelation said. You read Revelation, the second chapter, and it said we're going to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And all these heathens, they all going to get broke to pieces. That goes back to the, the Lord's a man of war, man. You ain't never hear them churches teaching that. Hey. They teaching all this Jesus loves you, like, where that Jesus loves me, this I know for the Bible tells me so song. Mm. They have your chick kids singing that shit. What well, we have you singing all these little gay ass songs in church? Gay yeah. ass I'm trying to hear that shit, man. It sounds awful. Three songs, too, and uh. You got a terrible vibration when you hear that shit. Start two at the top. Psalms 2 and 1. Why do the heathen rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. So yeah, right now they imagine a vain thing. Keep going. The king of the kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against His anointed, saying, "Like, like everything in America is all against the Lord. Everything they do goes against the Most High. Just like with their military, they said it's now against the law to teach the Bible in the military. That your ass to get court martialed." They already had a chaplain already get court-martialed for teaching the Bible, already. All right? That's why they allow faggots to run around freely. You can be a devil worshiper. You can walk down the street with a pentagram on your shirt. It's legal to commit adultery, break up families, women to be whores. You know what I'm saying? Uh, read that again. Psalms 2 and 2. The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord. Yeah, the rulers take counsel together like NATO. Keep going. And against his anointed, saying- And they even go back to the Senate and the Congress too. The, the Senate always go against the will of the people. Just like, like with that Syria thing, most of the people, nobody wanted to go to war. You still had half the senators that still wanted to go to war, like McCain, that faggot, and, uh, Lindsey Graham and all the other faggots. Keep going. Let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. So yeah, so soon the Lord is going to do that. He's going to cast away our bands. He's going to take the chains off our feet. Okay, just like when he delivered the Israelites out of the uh, Egypt in the Exodus. There's going to be a new Exodus. He's going to deliver us out of America. 
And this is the most wickedest kingdom in the history of the earth. All manner of wickedness flourishes out here, man. I noticed that every fucking kingdom in the ancient world, this is all in one. It's everything. You, you got devil worshippers, Hindus and Buddhists and Muslims. You can be a faggot. You can dress up like a woman, walk down the street and kiss another man. You can do all kind of weird shit. America fight everybody's stuff. That's they call fight. Yeah, man. They call fight. Everybody stops. They do. Swagger Jack. That's crazy. There ain't no original about these goddamn freaking crackers. Yeah. Uh, Every little bit of uh, swagger this country had, they lost it. They a bunch of, they a bunch of fucking dumb <laughs> Oh, they don't got no fucking dumb. They go around bouncing and bouncing. Take another people's shit. Hey, that ass right there. Oh, See that shit. That's how I'm gonna start throwing these hoes. They yeah. wanna yeah. yeah. wear some tight ass pants like that. And we look, I'm gonna wanna just be like, hey, fuck it. Bitch, you got a fat ass. Well, she got a fat ass? She got a fat ass. That ass is fat. But that's what the thing, so women should be walking around. Like all these women dress like that. You can see their pussy lips and their pants. You can see the camel toe. You can see everything. And it's legal to front of what you just ain't supposed to walk around like that. Uh, but go ahead with that scripture. Psalms two and three. Let us break their bands and asunder, bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Yeah, so when the Lord is uh, fucking y'all up, man, he's gonna be laughing at you. Cracking up. All, all you damn anti-Christ, all you two-thirds. The Lord's gonna laugh when he's fucking you up. All you adulterous ass women, all these wicked ass hoes, all these retarded ass adulterous men, the Lord gonna laugh at you when he's destroying you, man. That's how I profit Prophesying, prophesying about something that's coming, that's gonna happen. And then we that's gonna happen. And the Lord's gonna laugh. It's gonna happen. It is gonna happen. That is a prophecy. That's right. A guaranteed prophecy. That's right. We got a 100% guarantee. 100% <laughs> guarantee. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's satisfactory. Yep. Oh, it's satisfactory guaranteed also. <laughs> so we're gonna be laughing too. We're gonna be laughing, sipping on some fine wine. While you're watching all these demons get burned up. Ooh. Keep going. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them. So God said he's going to speak to you in his wrath, okay? It, it didn't say he was going to say nothing but sweet, soft, nice words. So, so first of all, our people, they evils can be... They're a bunch of foul, degenerate pieces of shit. So you can't talk to Israelites with a sweet, soft voice to, to begin with. You gotta curse them out. You gotta rebuke them. I mean, first of all, the Lord's talking to him right now. He's trying to talk to him behind the car. Because he ain't really angry. Uh, not right now. He still ain't angry enough. Yeah, because people, they get all emotional. If you say the word fuck, you say the word shit, like, oh, you're saying fuck while you're holding the Bible. Right. That just means you're a faggot, man. Okay? That's all that means. Yeah. Or you're just a dumb asshole or a retarded ass bitch, man. Spiritual. We ain't trying to hear nothing you got to say. Hey, yeah, offended by cuss words. But all y'all do is watch X rated movies, watching pornos. Sticking dildos up your ass. Yeah, and y'all get offended when we say fuck. Butt chugging. Yeah these, yeah, these people. Yeah, these people are foul, man. There's some foul, filthy people out here. Hey, it's just, just filth, man. That's what I'm saying, man. This place got a fucking ghost. I'm tired of these fucking bitches running around her ass fucking naked. And we supposed to just walk down with her fucking head down and not say nothing. And the scriptures say you can actually take a woman in the field if she ain't got no man. Yeah, he probably got ass raped to get part of that fraternity. Play with someone's balls. You want to be a part of the fraternity, you got to play it's, with... Yeah, it's a guarantee you're doing some faggot shit. Yeah, you're doing all kinds of multiple acts of faggotry. It's a guarantee. And he was walking like a faggot, too, like he just got plugged in his ass. He's probably... It's, a, it's an abomination, man. Let me drop down to... Uh, I'll go ahead, two, drop there. Let me drop down to uh, Psalms 2 and 7. Psalms 2 and 7. I will declare the decree the Lord has said unto me. Thou art my son this day, have I begotten thee. That's the way you have a shot. 
And that will give the, the heathen for that inheritance. So the heathen is going to be our inheritance. All these Edomites, these Hamites, all these heathen nations, they all going to be our servants. They all going to be serving the nation of Israel. And the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So the look, because the earth was created for our sake. You can read that in the second Ezra. Keep going. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Yeah, they say the same thing in Revelation 2. Revelation 2 said we're going to, they actually quoted that. We're going to beat all these heathens to pieces, man, with a rod of iron. Okay. Thou shalt dash them in pieces. We're going to dash them in pieces. Okay, so all these so-called white people that are Edomites, we, they gonna get smashed to pieces. All these goddamn Africans who are Hamites, they gonna get smashed to pieces. All them goddamn, uh, them Arabs, them Ishmaelites, they gonna get smashed to pieces. All you goddamn gooks, they gonna get smashed to pieces with a rod of iron. You know Thou shalt dance them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. <laughs> Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, bless are, bless are all they that put their trust in him. Yeah, that's the point right there. I got something. Oh, yeah, right there. Oh yeah, I like that, but actually, yeah, it's pretty too. I like them little bitches. Okay, uh, this is Isaiah uh, 51 and 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets. As a wild bull in a net, they are full of fury of the Lord, <laughs> the rebuke of thy power. Therefore, hear now this, thou afflicted and drunken, but not with wine. Thus said the Lord, the Lord, and thy power that pleaded the cause of his people. Behold, I have taken out of thy hand the cup of trembling, even the dregs of the cup of my fury. Thou shalt no more drink oh, yeah, yeah. The dregs, that's like the nasty stuff up in the drink. Yeah, that's the bottom. It's the bottom of the, yeah, the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the bottle. Dregs. That's that nasty shit. You don't want to drink that part floaters and shit up there. Yeah. So we drunk the whole damn cup. What's that? Because yeah. 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 it actually was a time when Most High took us up first, but Esau afflicted us more and pissed the Most High off even more. That's the scripture. Okay. But I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Oh yeah, like so all them uh, all them so-called white people who are Edomites, they gonna get it. Okay. Cause the one. Why we always gotta tell people? Like not all white people are Edomites. Look like white people are Edomites, you know what I mean? But the ones who are Edomites, they gotta go into slavery. That's just what the scriptures say. Okay, like that's all the elite. Like you get the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, okay, all, all them devils, they all going into slavery. Yeah, all them so-called royal families. What the scriptures say? Prince Charles, Queen Elizabeth, all that they all going into slavery. And that no forehead ass baby they just spit out. That ugly ass oh, baby. Oh yeah, that ugly ass baby. Out. Prince, uh, uh, Prince uh, William. Prince What's her William. name? Kate Middleton. Hey, I can't call. I'm just call your ass William. Hey, you know what I'm saying? You ain't They're no Rothschilds, prince. both of them. They're ancestors Rothschilds. So, hey, we're princes. He ain't no prince. We're princes. Israel means prince of God. Here, here they in their kingdom. They got their slaves calling them devils, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Nobody yeah. likes them. Don't nobody like the queen and the, the, her little grandchildren and all Minions. these devils. Oh, they love Obama though. He's, especially these dumbass black bitches. They love Obama. They love Obama. Obama. They worship that motherfucker. They, they just totally. But that's their payday though. Actually, Obama is a, is the bitches' payday. They get all kind of benefits. Yeah. Man. As you get married. Yeah, especially a faggot too. A faggot love Obama. You see, you see, Obama is very popular among homosexuals. If you notice that. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Oh, bitches look like Big Bird. The Snuffleupagus ass looking bitch. <laughs> hey, get her on camera, man. Look like Snuffleupagus looking bitch. Look like she, she about to, yeah, she about to, she's gonna play center. She got some thick ass legs. I'll that bitch up. 